Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. Phytochemical Screening Explained Step-by-Step -step Guide Table of Contents Requirements for Phytochemical Screening Test for Alkaloids Test for Phenolic Compounds Test for Sepanins Test for Flavonoids Test for Phytosterols Test for Terpenoids Precautions during Phytochemical Screening Introduction to Phytochemical Screening Phytochemical screening is crucial for identifying the potential pharmacological properties of plants and even microorganisms. Characterization and evaluation of phytoconstituents support the investigation of therapeutic claims associated with medicinal plants. Advanced techniques like liquid chromatography, high-performance liquid chromatography, and gas chromatography provide accurate, qualitative, and quantitative analysis of phytochemicals. However, these high-throughput methods are expensive and often not easily accessible in many settings. Conventional phytochemical tests offer a more practical alternative. They are simple, cost-effective, and require minimal resources, making them ideal for preliminary screening. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Requirements for Phytochemical Screening Apparatus required 10 milliliter test tubes, measuring cylinders, micropipettes with compatible tips, sterile droppers. Chemicals required Dilute hydrochloric acid, potassium iodide, iodine solution, dilute sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, lead acetate solution, chloroform, sodium hydroxide, mercuric chloride, ferric chloride solution, sodium bicarbonate, magnesium ribbon, glacial acetic acid, bismuth carbonate, picric acid solution, distilled water. Reagents slash solutions and their composition. Mayer's reagent. Solution A. Dissolve 1.358 grams of mercuric chloride in 50 milliliters of distilled water. Solution B. Dissolve 5 grams of potassium iodide in 10 milliliters of distilled water. Working solution. Mix solution. A and B. Then add distilled water to make the final volume up to 100 milliliters. Dragendorf's reagent. Prepare the stock solution by boiling 5.2 grams of bismuth carbonate, 4 grams of sodium iodide, and 50 milliliters of glacial acetic acid together for a few minutes. Wagner's reagent. Dissolve 1 gram of iodine and 3 grams of potassium iodide in 50 milliliters of distilled water. Hager's reagent. Dissolve 1 gram of picric acid in 100 milliliters of distilled water. Test for alkaloids. Number 1 Myers test. Principle. Alkaloids contain a nitrogen atom that can form a coordinate covalent bond with potassium ions. In Myers reagent, which is chemically known as potassium tetriodomercurate, this interaction results in the formation of a precipitate. Protocol. Add one mil of plant extract into a test tube. Add a few drops of Myers reagent. Shake the mixture gently. Positive result. Formation of a cream-colored yellowish or white precipitate indicates the presence of alkaloids. Number 2. Dragendorf's test. Principle. Dragendorf's reagent is composed of bismuth, subnitrate, and potassium iodide in acidic conditions, commonly glacial acetic acid. The low pH is crucial for the reaction. Bismuth ions react with potassium iodide to form black precipitates of bismuth iodide. 
Excess potassium iodide can convert bismuth triiodide into a soluble orange complex of potassium tetraiodobismuthate. Alkaloids with tertiary amine groups form ammonium salts in acidic environments. These ammonium salts react with tetraiodobismuthate ions to form an orange-red insoluble complex. Protocol. Place 2 mL of plant extract in a test tube. Add 1 mL of Dragendorf's reagent. Positive result. An orange-red precipitate confirms the presence of alkaloids. Number 3. Wagner's test. Principal. Wagner's reagent contains iodine and potassium iodide. The iodine reacts with iodide ions to form triodide, giving a brownish solution. Alkaloids form a complex precipitate with potassium ions through covalent bonding with a nitrogen atom in the alkaloid molecule. Protocol. Add 0.5 mL of plant extract to a test tube. Dissolve it in 1 mL of 1%, volume by volume, hydrochloric acid. Add 3 drops of Wagner's reagent. Positive result. A reddish-brown precipitate indicates the presence of basic alkaloid. Test for phenolic compounds. Number 1 ferric chloride test. Principle. Phenolic compounds react with ferric ions, ferric forming colored complexes. The resulting color, blue, green, or red, depends on the type of phenol present. The reaction can be represented as six molecules of phenol react with one iron three ion to produce one hexaphosphine iron complex and six hydrogen ions. Protocol. Dissolve one mil of plant extract in one mil of sterile distilled water in a test tube. Add three drops of 1% ferric chloride solution. Positive result. A blue-black or violet coloration indicates the presence of polyphenols and tannins. Number 2 lead acetate test. Protocol. Add the plant extract to a test tube. Add 3 mL of 10% lead acetate solution to the mixture. Positive result. Formation of a white precipitate indicates the presence of phenolic compounds. Test for saponins. Number 1 foam test principle. Saponins possess both polar, glycosyl, and nonpolar, steroid or triterpenoid groups, making them surface active agents. When shaken with water, the polar ends align outward while the nonpolar portions face inward, forming stable foam due to surface tension reduction. Protocol. Dissolve 0.5 grams of dried plant extract in 2 mL of distilled water in a sterile test tube. Shake the mixture vigorously for 30 seconds. Positive result. Persistent foam observed even after 30 minutes confirms the presence of saponins. Number 2. Hemolysis test. Principle. Saponins exhibit hemolytic activity by disrupting erythrocyte, red blood cell, membranes. They form insoluble complexes with cholesterol, leading to cell lysis and a visible zone of hemolysis. Protocol. Place a few drops of fresh blood on a clean glass slide. Mix with the plant extract. Positive result. A clear zone of hemolysis around the sample indicates the presence of saponins. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Test for flavonoids. Number 1 Alkaline Reagent Test Principal flavonoids containing free hydroxyl groups at the C2 position form stable anions in alkaline conditions, resulting in a yellow-colored solution when treated with sodium hydroxide. Upon the addition of dilute hydrochloric acid, the medium becomes acidic and the flavonoids revert to their original form, causing the yellow color to disappear. Protocol. Take 2 mils of plant extract in a test tube. Add 2-3 drops of sodium hydroxide. Then add 5 mils of dilute hydrochloric acid. Positive result. An intense yellow color that disappears upon acidification indicates the presence of flavonoids. Number 2. Shinoda's test. Magnesium hydrochloride reduction test. Principle. 
in the presence of magnesium and hydrochloric acid, flavones, yellow, are reduced to anthocyanidins, resulting in a color change from orange to deep red. This indicates the presence of flavanol glycosides. Protocol. Add a few milliliters of plant extract to a test tube. Add 10 drops of dilute hydrochloric acid. Introduce a small piece of magnesium ribbon. Add a few drops of concentrated hydrochloric acid to dissolve the magnesium. Positive result. The development of orange to deep red coloration confirms the presence of flavonoids. Test for phytosterols. Number one Salkowski's test principle. Salkowski's test is based on a dehydration reaction of sterols in the presence of chloroform and concentrated sulfuric acid, which is highly hygroscopic. When sterols such as cholesterol are treated, water is removed from two molecules, forming two double bonds and resulting in a dimeric compound known as bisterol. In the case of cholesterol, bicholestidine forms and undergoes sulfonation, producing a red-colored complex. Protocol. Add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to the plant extract. Shake the mixture well and allow it to stand. Positive result. The development of a red color indicates the presence of phytosterols. Number two, Lieberman-Burchard test. Principle. This test detects cholesterol by reacting it with acetic anhydride and concentrated sulfuric acid, resulting in a series of color changes. The reaction initially produces a violet color, which gradually shifts to blue or green in the presence of phytosterols, like cholesterol, due to the formation of a conjugated dye-in system. Protocol. Take 5 milliliters of aqueous plant extract in a test tube, add 2 milliliters of acetic anhydride, and then 2 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. Positive result. A gradual color change from violet to blue, or green, confirms the presence of phytosterols. Test for terpenoids. Number 1. Salkowski's Test. Principle. Chloroform is used to extract terpenoids from the plant material. Upon addition of concentrated sulfuric acid, H to SO4, a chemical reaction occurs at the interface, producing a characteristic reddish-brown color, indicating the presence of terpenoids. Protocol. Take 5 milliliters of plant extract in a test tube. Add 2 milliliters of chloroform to the extract. Add 1 to 2 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. Shake the mixture gently and allow it to stand. Positive result. The appearance of a reddish-brown interface confirms the presence of terpenoids. Summary of Phytochemicals, Screening Tests, and Positive Results Alkaloids Mayer's Test A creamy white or yellow precipitate indicates the presence of alkaloids. Dragendorf's Test An orange-red precipitate confirms the presence of alkaloids. Wagner's Test A brown or reddish precipitate indicates alkaloid presence. Phenolic compounds. Ferric chloride test. A blue or violet coloration indicates phenolics or tannins. Lead acetate test. Formation of a white precipitate confirms the presence of phenolic compounds. Saponins. Foam test. The persistence of foam after 30 minutes indicates the presence of saponins. Hemolysis test. The appearance of a clear zone of hemolysis confirms the presence of saponins. Flavonoids. Alkaline reagent test, an intense yellow coloration that becomes colorless after adding dilute acid indicates flavonoids. Shinoda's test, a deep red coloration confirms the presence of flavonoids, flavonyl glycosides. Phytosterols, Salkowski's test, a red coloration indicates the presence of phytosterols. lieberman burchard test, a color change from violet to blue-green confirms phytosterols such as cholesterol. Terpenoids. Salkowski's test. The appearance of a reddish-brown interface indicates the presence of terpenoids. Precautions during phytochemical screening. Preliminary phytochemical tests are qualitative and provide only limited information. For accurate identification, follow-up with quantitative analytical techniques is recommended.
The choice of extraction solvent is critical. Using an incompatible solvent may result in false negative outcomes. Always wash hands thoroughly after handling chemical reagents, especially toxic ones like Mayer's reagent. Dragendorf's reagent is light-sensitive and should be stored in a dark container to prevent degradation. Handle ferric chloride with care, as it is highly corrosive. Lead acetate, being a heavy metal compound, must be disposed of safely following hazardous waste protocols. During the foam test for saponins, ensure that foam persistence is observed for at least 30 minutes to confirm a positive result. In the Shinoda test, the reaction between magnesium ribbon and concentrated sulfuric acid is exothermic and can release harmful fumes. Handle with caution and avoid inhalation. Strong acids, such as sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid, must be handled properly using acid-resistant gloves and goggles. Wear appropriate personal protective equipment, including lab coat, gloves, and safety goggles, throughout the experiment. Conduct all tests in a well-ventilated area or under a fume hood to avoid inhaling toxic vapors. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button. Thank you!